Hey everybody, welcome back to Jade Falcon Freeborn. Okay, so we are still in the Inner Sphere. Uh, arrived yesterday, and if we have a look at the map here, um, looks like the Jade Falcon's been expanding, moving out here. Uh, we've got uh, Val Galaxy 8th Falcon Guards over here in Mirage. Um, and who else is over here? Uh, Volantes Verdes Mortis. And so we're going to have to choose a world here to attack. And why would I choose an easy world? I could do that. But I think we're going to go here. Lana Conning. And it's a five skull world. Draconis Combine have fortified it to 106%. Uh, we're going to go there and uh, have some fun. So let's travel over there. And we're going to set course. We're okay for our financial report. So once we arrive, let's keep our working at it. Yeah, extra star medium laser, so, big, so what, big deal. Once we get there, um, we are going to attempt to take as many missions as possible, and my goal is to get my second lance up and running. I uh, want to do that as quick as possible as well. Slowly starting to run low on funds, but that's all right. We'll take care of the problem. All right, Griff's back. Should pause this just to see if any of our mechs need any more repairs. I don't think so. Can't remember from the last episode. Let's have a pause here. I think we're pretty good, actually. Oops, not barracks, mech bays. Ah, night gear. What do we need to replace in the night gear? Oh, the shoulder. Let's take a little damage. Let's confirm this. Didn't think we lost anything. Okay, Orion, I think, is fine as well. We just took armor damage last time. Yep. All right, let's get to the planet and see what we got going on there. Like Excellent. Uh, I'm not going to bother visiting the store. Honestly, if you think about it, they wouldn't be selling me stuff anyway. <laughs> um, but we're jumping ahead of uh, we're jumping ahead of um, the rest of the group because we need to prove ourselves as as uh, freeborn warriors just to see how tough we are. So we're going to attack this hard hard nut to crack planet. See if we can crack that nut. All right, let's have a look at the contracts real quick, and then we'll go into the barracks while these things populate. Looks like we might have some stuff here. Let's just see. All right, so let's have a look at our pilots here. So Griff is fine. Uh, Hannibal, we're holding off for now. So Mockingbird, okay, she's okay. And six pack. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up bringing six pack into the main lance. It'll be six pack and Sundance. And then we'll have to work out the, the second lance after that. So let's check out what six pack's got here. Um, what do we get here? Sensor distance. Probably a good idea. Got to give us more health. But let's go sensor distance, I think. Let's confirm this. And Sundance, uh, what is this? Oh wait, we wanted to go here, didn't we? Right, piloting for the unsteady threshold. I think that's what we were working towards. Either that or we're gonna max out gunnery, which I think maybe is a better idea. So let's, wait, we'll, we'll wait and max out gunnery here. All right, so uh, let's go back to the contracts, see what populates. Okay, so we got some independent ones. Five skull, we've got a battle uh, against heavy armored vehicles. It's probably a bad idea. Weapon shipment against, it's an ambush convoy. Okay, that might not be too bad. Uh, Repost, I don't want to take that one. How the beast? Uh, I think we're going to take, uh, yeah, let's go for weapon shipment today. Um, Let's negotiate this. And let's go this route, 416, 800,000. We're going to have to get some repairs going, and our drop cost is going to be a couple hundred thousand. So I think this is probably the best bet to go. Now, I did mention last episode that um, we are going to try to avoid... Um, uh, where's Six Pack? Or Sundance. We were going to try to avoid... Um, flop these two around. Um picking up inner sphere mechs but I'm think I was got to thinking between episodes that that's probably not going to be realistic 
uh, only because there really isn't anything else in here for us to grab. So unless we're fighting ourselves, which we don't want to do. So we are going to uh, have to make do with what best uh, mechs and stuff we can find from the inner sphere. Now we do have really good loadouts uh, for the current mechs that we have. And we've got a really good medium lance too. So um, we should be good there. But for as far as assaults go, it's going to be... Uh, 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 a tricky thing to get uh, other mechs. So let's deploy this lance and get things done. All right, here we go. So bef before we pick up on this battle here, I just want to mention that, uh, oh, I hate this map, um, that uh, the Night Witches are making their way over to fight Jade Falcon. Uh, so I will kind of be like, I don't know, fighting myself, I guess. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm planning on doing is sticking true to the uh, um, the spirit and essence of each of the uh, um, series. So Falcon Freeborn, like I said, stated at the beginning of this, we're choosing the hard nuts to crack. We're going to attack the hardest planets, um, or the most fortified planets that is and the goal here is to prove ourselves and so I'm going to be ignoring what's going on with everybody else like I said just going to be focusing on c cracking the hardest nuts and with the night witches going to hold true to their sort of um, feel and that's they would attack the Germans at night uh, this is during World War II I'm sure I've explained this before but the night witches were um, pilots that would flew for the Russian army they were all female pilots and most of the times they would fly biplanes and they would they would come in and attack at night which is why they were called the night witches and what they would do is they would fly up fly in and then cut their engines and they would glide in with these biplanes and the Germans used to say that it sounded like a witch's broom flying through the flying through the night so that's why they were called the night witches um, so their goal is going to be to hit um, the clans at the most vulnerable points. So I'm going to just using that that kind of feel. I'm just going to look at the map, find out where where Jade Falcon is most vulnerable, and I'm just going to hit him. And that's just how it's going to run. Uh, so there's going to be no hey, I'm going to fight myself, or I'm specifically specifically going after a specific person or target or whatever. Nope, it's just going to be whatever whatever way is easiest to defeat the clans. Uh, or where they're most vulnerable, that's what I'm going to do. So we're just going to play it that way. And if it ends up, I end up fighting against myself, so be it. That's how it's just going to end up. So, all right, let's continue on. Just wanted to get that out of the way, with just so that you you don't think there's a, any kind of conflict there going on. Okay, so we've got an Athena with their back turned to us. Battlemaster, SRM Carrier Mark Three. Okay, let's hope they don't get reinforcements. I think we should go up here. Okay, six pack. Stay in the woods for cover. Battlemaster. One GHE. Athena. We don't have parts for the Athena. SRM Carrier Mark III. That's probably got a crap ton of SRMs on it. Missile Carrier. Uh, who do we want to remove early? Probably this guy. Um, and let's go with some Swarm. And I should probably Warlord this. Alright, let's fire. All right, Swarm has hit a few other vehicles. Not bad. Okay. It's a good thing they're heavy and slow. We're going to move for some height advantage, but we're going to go nice and slowly so they can't see us. If we get lucky enough, they may not even see us early in on in this. Let 
Like, if we can get up here and just rain hell down. Now, you don't need to be in direct line of sight, but I'm going to bring you back here anyway. Just stick with us just in case. Where's that SRM carrier? That's behind. Really? It's all going to be the same. That's a little better. Sure, let's go to the Hellslinger. We'll go with Swarm. Ah, somebody's got an AMS. Reporting negative damage. Yeah. Standing by. Ooh, yes. Thank you so much. Let's get started. Uh... Just marginally better against those, but I want to go after this guy firing. Oh yeah, not enough to kill though. Good, a critical hit. You did. Oh, okay, they spotted us. That's not nice. Um, start on this guy. Maybe we splash the other guy. I don't know. We've only got 20 of those, so let's switch to LK for the others. And firing. Yeah, we got splash on the other guy, and he's gone. I'm out of LRM. Oh, uh, you're out of swarm LRMs, yeah. I thought we picked some more of those up. No, maybe, I think it was the LK we picked up. Okay, we need to keep moving back. Black Knight. Maybe it's the melee version and he won't even get close to us. Okay, who do I want to wind up on? Black Knight? Battlemaster, probably? Look at that chance to hit. Gonna multi. And we're gonna wind this up because damn. Here it comes. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Yeah, I don't care about those two. So now we're really in the element I think that these mechs were designed for. That that's the the extended long range protracted battles. Yeah. Reporting major armor loss. Yeah, but you're gonna be in direct line of sight for these guys in a second and you can just start hammering them. Okay, let's get you in there. In the trees. We've gotta put them girls in the trees. I want this missile carrier gone, please. Uh, of course you do. Oh, well, isn't that wonderful? Spectre, catapult, really? They just mysteriously appear on the top of a hill? Sure. That's believable. What they should have done is put them in behind where the other guys were. Or up at the base that they're going to. Good to go. Got it. Can you pull this whip this battle master a new one, please? Go 
going down. Yep. Sucks to be you. They've got a sensor lock on of course they do. Gonna be sensor locking us for a lot of this time, so just get used to it. As long as they're doing that, they ain't shooting us. Let's remove this battle master, please. Copy that, commander. Good to go. Wonder if we get enough splash damage on him. Come on. So A, 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 B. We should get splash damage on B. Ooh, okay, we got splash damage from that. Didn't even need to do that. Target eliminated. Thank you. Well, if someone wants to show us their side, well, okay, never mind. He hasn't moved yet. I've already warlorded. Damn it. Alright, firing. Just gotta strip a bit of armor off that guy. Uh huh. You know who the threat is. We're getting good at throwing ordnance down range, that's for sure. Gotta get an AMS on that guy. So I think maybe that's what we do between between, between this episode and the next one. I'm probably going to try and get AMSs in everything. Maybe try and get light tags or something. Got to get some patchwork materials. I know you are. We'll deal with this guy here up front. So we got two missile carriers. At least the SRM carrier is not in yet. What's that guy at the back? Puma. That's his, this is the SRM carrier here. What was that? Battlemaster? What was this? Obsidian Skull, what the fuck is that? That's the next target for all my racks is what that is. Large pulses. Atlas 2C. Or AS2C, whatever the hell that is. Okay, well, um, this is getting really interesting. He's not going to be in play for a bit yet. Ah. Doing more damage against this guy, but hitting less. That's fire. Wow, real wow, what? It said sixty and now it did forty-eight? Alright, whatever. Tool tips, gotta fix them. How's this guy doing? 
That's the arrow side. Bad, it's bad, it's bad. <sighs> Let's see if we can get the kill on this guy. Thank you. This guy, please. Whoa, really? 30%, eh? It's because you're toting around that command console, that's why. Oh, it's a TBM-20 carrier. We must have killed the SRM carrier. Alright, we gotta wipe that guy off the map. Next turn. Shit, 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 shit. Crap, there it goes. Well, I didn't expect this to be an easy fight. Uh, five skulls anyway. On it. Twenty-six. Twelve. Twenty-one. Somebody else has got a rack. Okay, I think we focus on killing these two vehicles and then we can always withdraw if we have to. can't remember if we have a second arrow launcher or not. Okay, who's going first over there? Spectre, maybe? I don't know, we got pretty good initiative. Huh. Yep. Okay. Gonna be overheated down here. But not much we can really do about it. Let's get to within shot range of these guys. What's this one? Stalker. Oh, okay. That's not good. Turn two off because we went through fire. Fire on the TBM carrier. I think I hit something good. Nicely done. Both the racks are jammed. 
Ah oh well. Okay, they're both unjammed now. Enemy sensor lock detected. Not if we jam it. Okay, let's do two. Okay, now we're gonna warlord. Gonna go after this vehicle. And fire. Not enough, eh? That's a hit. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, I know. When isn't it low, though? I don't know what he's shooting. But he's doing damage. He's doing something. I have no idea what the hell he's got. Stop shooting me! Okay, at least my racks are unjammed now. If I survive this. Damage minimal. Okay, Spectre probably again. Griff is up next. I'm trying to decide if I should kill this Athena. Or, yeah, I should just wipe this guy out, probably. The Wolverine's the other target, because it's got the, uh, the rack. But the Athena's closer, chances are we could kill it. The two Mad Cats would go after the vehicles. They've got the range. Six-pack as an opportunity of whatever you can shoot at. But I think Griff could probably rip a mech apart. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to move it back over here. Okay, what do we got for chances to hit? Oh, Stalker. They got lots of armor. And these guys have been doing more damage, so let's hit this guy. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Dirty heat from fire again, huh? Um, all right, let's split fire up. Gotcha. Are you serious? Oh my god. Yeah, you think? 
I think this is the last vehicle. I think this is one of the guards. Why can I not? Oh, I can. I just blind. You gonna do this? On it. What? What? Ah, oh, for Christ's sake! Going down. Light damage. Head hit again. What is he using? That's what I want to know. Commander. That's I want. I just want to know what that guy's doing because that's just ridiculous. Oh, we're not on fire this time. That's good. Nope, that is part of the convoy. Okay, we're all going against that vehicle next turn. Gonna move back as far as we can. Shoot the vehicle. Yeah. Wasn't expecting this to be an easy battle. I think we gotta change our loadouts though. We gotta pull out the uh, command console in that Timberwolf. It's just, it's failing in all counts now. I don't think I got any spare weapon. Did we pick up weapon mounts last time? I can't remember. I don't think we did. We got to pick up some weapon mounts. I guess I should check the store. I used to find weapon mounts in store stores quite frequently back in uh, 997. Then 998 they became scar very very sparse and now I haven't seen any in 999 yet. Probably because there's so many different items it's really just hard for them to populate. See if we can wipe this guy out. Firing all weapons. Okay, getting close. Scored a critical hit. Okay, Griff's got to move next. If somebody's going to knock his ass down. Fuck you. I have no idea what he's doing. So annoying. Ah, one rack jam, no big deal. Let's hammer this. Ah, I said I was going to shoot these vehicles, didn't I? Let's make sure this guy dies. Just making sure he's dead. All right, there's the convoy. 
What is this intercept to comp? That's a stupid thing. This is just stupid. The mission wouldn't be over unless I actually intercepted the convoy. Screw you and your rack. Waiting for orders. I'm there. Well, at least one hit. That's not good. Alright, we're withdrawing before we lose anything more. Roger. I guess really be the best bet of missions like that, um, thinking back now, um, the best bet is probably to defeat all the convoy guards first, then destroy the convoy. Because as soon as we kill two of the convoy vehicles, that's when the reinforcements arrive. So if I kill the Lamex first, I mean, of course, depending on how quickly the vehicles move, but kill the Lamex first, then kill the vehicles, and then kill the reinforcements. But... I had no idea if there's going to be reinforcements or not, so. All right, big losses. Big losses. Well, at least we get something. Let's just check if there's any weapon mounts or anything down here. Huh. Thunderbolt 20, C3 Slaves, Command Console... Changer, triple plus, or double plus. It's three tons, though. Fire control missile. Direct missile accuracy. Chance, increased chance for crit. Increased range. Double heat sinks. Yeah, garbage. Okay, uh... What do we want to do here? How much is that worth? 900,000. These are worth... Uh, nothing. Alright, so let's go back up here. Let's take the Battle Master part. Let's take a Black Knight part. Because why not? Okay, we got two Black Knight parts. That's not bad. Battle Master part. A bunch of Serum Sixes and a garbage. Okay, so I think... Ah, yeah, look at that. Um, I think the best bet... Is to... If we're going to be taking these missions, we just we just have to swap out the uh, NSSs for Feral Amalai. There's no other way we can do this. Um, it just has to be done. All right, let's go this route. Um, and we're going to sell some stuff here. Um, let's go to the store real quick. Sell some stuff and get effects and repairs here. So let's go selling. Let's have a look at... Should we sell the catapult? I don't know. Um, let me see here. We got tiny cores that we're never going to use because we have Omnimex. So let's sell these small cores. Um, let's just sell one of those. I like to hang on to a couple of each if we can. Just in case. Um, what else we got here? Four 270s. Sell a couple of these. Let's sell one of these guys. 280 cores. Let's go to three. Gotta sell these guys out. Uh, these are regular XL engines, which we're not going to use. We're going to use the clan ones. So let's get rid of these guys. 
keep all the clan XLs. Um, regular heat sinks we don't really want. Well, we might as well just hang on to them. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so we got four million to work with. Let's get these guys fixed. While we sit in orbit, actually, let's. Um, I don't think that did anything to the map. Pretty sure it didn't. Who's here, actually? Toxic Marauders, eh? Well, down to 91%. That's not for me, of course. We're going to jump back. What's the smallest jump here? 14 days? want to go the least amount of time. 13 days to Echo. 15... Well, let's go here, uh, just in case there's a mission we can do when we once we're here, and then we'll jump back. So let's travel. Someone else is already cracking that nut. Calculating course now. Let's jump over here. Ah, I don't bargain with pirates. Yeah, we fought them off. Nice. We never bargain with pirates. You bargain once and then they come they always come back. Alright. Let's pause. Uh, I wanna have a look first. Uh, we gotta do something with the night gear now. Maybe we don't go with a command console. Maybe we just don't use a command console. I think I said this before though. Now, do we have, I don't think we have another Arrow 4 launcher. That's uh, ammo. ATMs, Thunderbolts, MRMs, no, that was the only Thunderbolt we had, or only Arrow, I mean. I mean, we could go all ATMs. But we're limited in number of, we've got like four, we've only got four of those, and we've got two energy hard points, one in the CT, one in the head. If we go three ATM 12s and an IATM 9. Or we could just go all LR, uh, clan LRM 20s. Wish we had streak LRM 20 ammo, that would be nice. But we don't. Um, could go all LRM 20s with Artemis ammo. Like we had before. Hmm. Okay, let's just check out the ammo. So we could go to Artemis ammo. We got tons of Artemis ammo. Follow the leader missiles. Narcs. Hmm. Is there any support points on this? There's two. Great. One in the head, one in the CT. So it's either use support or you use friggin' lasers. I guess we can move this out of here. Range sensors. 10% to all range brackets. Let's go with chances to hit. Okay, recoil. Let's go with uh, Artemis Clan. 
Okay. Now, do we have any targeting computers? We do. Can we? We can use that with this, can't we? We sure as hell can. We sure as hell can. And let's see, launcher-wise, if we go with all our LRM, LRM-20s, we're going to break the bank and wait, I think. Okay, arm. We won't. Break the bank in heat, though. Um, we have an exchanger. Yep, got one. Ah, uh, man, that's going to really help. It's better. Actually, let's put the exchanger CT. Let's get one more heat sink. We got four more tons of ammo. So we're an LRM 80 boat. So for every two tons of ammo, it's three turns of firing. So LRM Artemis, so we should just double click these to get them out. Swarm, we probably want to leave. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. and then 15 turns of continuous fire. So if we're in a long protracted engagement, we just stand back and hammer people. We're gonna have uh, plus one, plus two, three, four, five, six, plus six to hit. And if we can get fast cam ammo and stuff like that, which I think we wanna try and get, um, We'll go that route as well. I thought about dropping some follow the leader in, but it's fine if you want to do pinpoint damage, but I think if you just want to hit your target, you're better off with the uh, LRM, the uh, Artemis. All right, let's go this route. It's like, I mean, like the repair is nothing on this, right? So let's confirm this. Long now we have to look at this guy. Command console's got to come out. Mockingbird is just no good to us like this. Um, worry about how much feral MLR do we have? We got two. One's probably got to go in the Orion. Let me think about that for a minute. So, um, upper energy. Upper energy, that'll help because we don't have anything else. Um, now, head wise, head wise, we want to have the enhanced imaging for sure. We want to have the tracker sensors. And then, now we don't have. We have an improved fire control clan. No, which means we can't use the. Uh, we got the advanced one, but that takes two slots. Um, yeah, I wanted to use a TTS. Although we could use a TTS energy, it's two tons. What's our heat efficiency at right now? Yeah. Can't fit it in unless we take a heat sink out. So 
So if we do it that way, then we can come down here and grab Fire Control System Energy. Another plus one accuracy. So we're gaining one, two, three, four, five accuracy, six accuracy with the uh, large lasers. Staying relatively heat neutral. She's minus 10% heat generation anyway. So the alpha strike is exactly the same as the heat sinking. I think we have to go this route. Let's confirm that. Alright, now let's get the Orion back. Sorry this is taking so long, guys, but we I should have addressed this before. I'm going to see if they got any weapon mounts here. We're bleeding sea bills right now. Uh, I really just want weapon mounts, so let's just see if you've got them. Cores, XLs, fire control system melee, thermal vision... Jammers, reinforce, supercharger. Mm. How much? It weighs one ton, right? Interesting. Oh, yeah, we were thinking about getting AMSs in our guys, too, right? Yeesh. Um, let's have a look here. So, start with the night gear. He's the one that's always hit and getting hit a lot with missiles. There really isn't much we can pull out to put one in. Like, we need one ton. I guess we could pull out one ton of ammo. That's the advanced. Where is the laser AMS? Do we not have any left? Integrated laser AMS. That goes in the armor slot, right? That's two spaces too, eh? It's not require ammo, generates more heat. Intercept chance is 35%. Fire 15 shots, generates six heat. Um Overlord AMS firing mode will in intercept missiles at 90 increased range. So, so this laser AMS will actually fire on incoming missiles for the group if we're all grouped together, I guess? That's an interesting thing to try out. I don't think we have any laser AMSs though. I think we're all out. So if we stick a regular AMS in, it's half a ton, and then we need like half ton of ammo. Uh, so it's two slots rather than just one. That's the reason why I like the laser AMS is a little better. Although this would kind of be nice if we can get it into somebody. Can't put it on this mech though. Um, what if we swap these around? We were planning on taking out the NSSs anyway, so what if we do... adding a ton. What's our heat sinking right now? Yeah, a little warm. A little bit warm. We don't have any more patchwork, do we? We do. I 
think it's just not the right Mac to put it into. This increases the weight too, right? Uh, what if we go with... We could go with Feral Lamellar on both the Mad Cats. Although I think the NSS is probably better for those two. Gee, I don't know. Let's wait for the uh, Orion to get back and see what at that point. I'm interested to hear your comments about these loadouts too. The Night Gear I don't think is the right fourth mech. It does not doesn't have enough versatility. That work order you submitted is complete. Like in theory, we could go down to LRM 15s and maybe put a large laser or something in, but I don't know. It's got enough staying power now. As long as it stays back far enough, it should be fine. It's got the void armor right now. Now it's got Pharaoh. It doesn't have void armor. So we don't have room to put anything in there, that's why. Hmm. So we got the laser AMS in right now. I think if anything, this guy should have the Feral Lamellar. Twenty percent structure points. Minus twelve percent armor protection per point of armor, though. Means your armor gets stripped away faster, but. You take less damage overall, I guess. Let's try that. Just need to make sure we stay in the trees. Now we could put... We can't really get patchwork in here. Won't give us anything else. I mean, we could drop... Yeah. I was going to say we could drop the engine weight a little bit, but I don't think it's worth it. We could go down to a 280. Even, a, well, 300 is what? 12 and a half. This is 11. Yeah, these are both 11. So the 280. We still only have an e-cooling plus one anyway. If we go to the 280 core, we'll save a ton and a half. If we save a ton and a half, this is like one ton. That would be two and a half tons. Advanced AMS covers the whole group, right? But it's three tons, and then we'd need ammo. Fires 20 shots. Which means we need a full ton of ammo anyway for 10 turns of defense. But it fires on anybody, right? So. I don't know. Let's run the Feral Lamellar. Okay, you know one day, and then we'll see if we can take a mission here. Something really quick. Job is done, Commander. All right. Um, and barracks, and we'll come back. What do we got here? Hostile insertion. Heavy lance. Sure. could just do our robbery, ambush a convoy. But I think this is probably more our speed. Let's negotiate this. 
And we're going to go... Yeah, let's go this way. Alright, let's test these guys out. Alright. Oh, great, Valley. Oh, good. Standing by. Um, let's just reserve. Holding. I don't want to move in. Uh, let's. You know what? Let's move back here. Let's play the range game. We gotta switch out a swarm. Coordinates received. Waiting for orders. So a mockingbird should have a much better chance to hit now. Hopefully she can get back to her old self. Alright, what do we got here? Valkyra. Yes, Commander. You know what? Let's just reserve it. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Griffin. Okay. Why are we spotting the reinforcements before we spot the main lance? Misery. Mm-hmm. Yes, Commander. Copy that. Okay, what else do we got? Bushwhacker. Are you sure? This doesn't seem like a... Kerberos. <laughs> OMG pirate. Uh, let's switch out a swarm. Save that for when we need damage. Wow, 60% chance to hit. Huge difference. Two heavy PPCs. Oh yeah, this is the guy we want to kill. Firing. Let's get started on him. Commander? Uh, you know what? Let's just reserve. I want to see what comes into range here. Jaeger mech. Yeah, let's just reserve. I want to make sure they all move before I go. Waiting for orders. Rolling. Well, we can line up on this guy. So let's do that. That's a lot of rocket launchers. Alright, firing. I thought this was supposed to be like an elite lance. The hell? Like, it did say Elite Lance, didn't it? Pretty sure it said that. What, there's like only one spot I can shoot that guy from? Apparently. I'm gonna stay hidden here behind this rock. I don't want these guys targeting me, so I'll take the actual minus to hit here. Um, let's Warlord it, though. And firing. And let's bring this misery some misery. And firing. Strip a little bit of that armor off him. Okay, attack the bushwhacker again. And firing. Oh, you missed with two of them at 92% chance to hit? Yeah, but you missed with two, girl. Do I need to give you a pulse lasers again? To hell. What's up, boss? Let's get on this guy a little bit before he gets out here. Don't want that big, the BFG 9000 to be attacking us.
Griffin. Uh, so we're we're missing one person here. I Two seven. A way to target the uh, BFG nine thousand, huh? He's like in the perfect spot right here that I can't actually get in target him at all. This is the misery. I'm going to take it back to four. And fire. I have no idea what the misery's got. There's too many mechs. I can't remember all the uh, layouts of them all. Yeah. When isn't it though? What do we got back here? Galahad, okay. That was what the other one is. No, there's two Griffins, right? Yeah. One, two. Here a Jager mech, right? Okay. I think we should be able to kill the Bushwhacker this turn. What did he just do? Receiving you. Firing. Confirmed. I think I hit something good. It's gonna stay here on the site. Kid Dynamite staying out of sight. Come on, give me good initiative. As long as that Kerberos stays back there, can't see us, I'm good with that. Stay in a direct line of sight the best we can. Where are you, Kirby? There you are. And fire. Slowly whittling them down. By the time we get some big guns on them, we should be able to take them down relatively quickly, I think. Standing by. Rolling. Okay, let's hope we pull this guy down. Oh, for crying out loud. Reporting critical hit. He's crapping his pants though. Misery trying to bring me a little misery, I see. Just stay out of that line of sight of the Kerberos. If you ain't gonna do it, then I'm gonna do it. One on each. Let's go with four for both. Actually, four for the bushwhacker and six for the uh, misery. Ooh, meltdown! Look at the yeah, burn it up. So I've been told that, uh, okay, well that's kind of good. Uh, I've been told that if the mech's got like a name like Kerberos or uh, Misery, that like any kind of name name, uh, you should try and kill it quickly because it's probably like something awful. So uh, I've been <laughs> taking that to heart, uh, trying to kill these guys as fast as I can. Roger that. 
All right, we want to go this this guy here probably. 48, 84. Let's do an offensive push. Let's try and claim this one. Taking the shot. There we go. That hit something good. I think we're going to try and turn him into a stick. I think Mockingbird should be able to make him a stick. And depending on what this Griffin does in the front, both Griff and um, Six Pack can hit that uh, Kerberos at the back. Ooh! That's a nice jump. Jagermack panicked a little bit there, I think. Alright, it's that Griffin again going to go in front of us. This guy right here. He's either going to jump here and attack or he's going to jump here and attack. Or jump back and attack, one or the other. I'll be interested to see if he actually goes to the top of the... Oh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, I'd be interested to see if he goes to the top of the hill there. Okay, Mockingbird. Waiting for orders. Can we turn this guy down here into a stick? Or can we actually see him? If we move in here, we can. Not a good place to be, though. Actually, actually that's not bad. Let's get over here. Turn this guy into a stick, please. Or just kill him. That works. I need a new target. All right, ER medium can stay off. Um, let's wind it up because it's a Kerberos. Normally I push into this little part here, but I think it's better Especially against heavier mechs or whatever, just to kind of stay back here. Yeah. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. I can sink fast just by not shooting one turn. Once this Kerberos is down, we'll take care of those guys up there. Wow. Waiting for orders. That's a lot of balls. And firing. Okay, finally penetrated. Going down. Yep. We can bring the rain on him. Commander. You're kind of stuck in this valley, but... Not much we can do about that. And we'll switch this to Swarm because it does more damage. Firing at you. Let's land it in this torso if we can. Nice. That's a kill. That is a kill. Alright, let's focus on this guy close up then. Well, there's the Jaeger. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Standing 
Bye. Coordinates received. This should be good. Yeah. Bet that hurt. Ready for orders. Move order received. Um, let's go for this torso. Okay, there's the knockdown. Receiving you. Affirmative. Okay. I'm gonna go to the torso again, and we're gonna go with just the Artemis ammo. Fire. Okay, torso gone, plasma cannon gone. That that relieves some stress on Griff. Okay, vigilance first. Sprint. Just go that route. Get our auto cannons unjammed. Looks like we're going to have to do some anti aircraft fire against that guy up there. How you feeling, bud? You don't look so hot. Well, you look hot, but you don't look good. I wonder if he'll jump back up here. Nope. He's just mad. Now you're just embarrassing yourself. Gotta stay cool in a game like this. All right, let's get rid of this Jager Max. Enemy Max, critical damage detected. Who's next? Griffin up on the hill. This guy's dead. Mockingbird hopefully can finish him up. Just gonna move over here and shoot in his side. Battle could have been so much worse. I was expecting a lot of assault max on this. Hope we can salvage that. Wonder why we didn't get any assault. Well, we got what? Two assault max? It's mostly like mediums. A couple of heavies. Damage minimal. Good to go. Good to go. Can we see the Jager mech? Alright, firing. Should be more than enough instability. Yeah, nice. He's got a good position to see the fireworks coming from down over here. Ah, uh, let's get way out of the fire if we can. Yeah, gonna take some heat. No biggie. Crank it down to two. Torso this guy, firing. Enemy down. Nice. Ooh, we penetrated. Warning. Armor breach. Internal damage. Waiting for orders. 
Galahad's becoming annoying. Let's get rid of him. Firing. Oh, the leg's almost gone. That's the left side, though. How do they keep... Ah, whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I just need to take a bit of a rest. Just gotta take a bit of a rest before I continue. Oh, you pissing me off. This guy's a melee mech, so I gotta make sure we kill him, like, ASAP. Uh, switch two to the remaining swarm. And fire. Didn't matter. I'm out of LRN. No, you're not. Battle mech operational. Okay, I'm vigil vigilancing because I want to be able to go before this guy if I can. Okay, I gotta shield my left side. Leg damaged. Speed reduced. Oh, please be quiet, I know that. Alright, everything into this guy. Okay, he's unstable, lost initiative. Crap, he's just too fast. Okay, that was really bad. My mech is coming apart around me. Standing by. Heading out. Oh, we have enough. Okay, Warlord doesn't affect the fire at all. That's asinine. Yes, Commander. Move order received. Putting one in the back. One forty seven melee, that's not bad. For a 55 tonner, that's pretty good. I think we were hitting over 200 with the Hunchback, though.
All right, Griffin going first. They're down to two. See how ballsy this guy is. Okay. This should knock this guy over. There it is. Receiving you. What is up, my friend? Was easy. Okay, we gotta move them before the Galahad goes. Let's get our ass deroid down this way. Alrighty, hammering. That hit something good. Standing by. All right, let's finish this up. Going down. Wow. Okay, this was a tough fight. Yes, Commander. I think it's just because we're in confined spaces. All in ash. There's really nowhere to hide here. There we go. Alright, let's go home. Mission successful. Alright, 157. That's not going to cover uh, anywhere near what the damage was on the Orion. What did we lose here? We lost patchwork materials, right? Rotary took damage. Yeah, patchwork materials tier 2. So we, if we can find those. Another patchwork tier 2. I don't think we have any of those left in storage. We got two left. Okay, so we can replace them if we don't find any. Yeah, there's not much mech parts left. Why don't we check the Kerberos part? Probably. Uh, wait, do we have any BFG ammo? Ammo, real gun. Because we don't have any yet. Four shots, eh? How much does a real gun do, anyway? Um, it's not here, though. We destroyed it. Another rack five. Cooling pod. Fire control system, Goss. We've got a better one than this. We've got a better one than that. Double heat sinks. Patchwork one. Range sensors, small cockpit. So not really a lot here that we want. Oh, heavy Goss ammo. We don't have a heavy Goss rifle, though. Rack five. Ammo. we got two left over. 
Rotary 5, I guess, maybe? We've got one left over. I'm going to take it as a backup weapon, or we might be able to use it somewhere else. Okay, Griffin Park, Jaeger Mech Part, ER Medium, Flame Breath, PPC, AC, Fire Control System. Not, not bad. Um, yeah, okay, so we did okay. All right. Uh, Kandathu from Davian. Are the bugs still there? I don't know. All right. Uh, yeah, we took a hell of a lot of damage. At least we have this equipment to be able to replace what we lost, though. But we did okay on that one. It wasn't so bad. Not like the last one before this. Um, yeah, we did all right. Um, gonna have to obviously spend 42 days to repair this mech. Ah, no. We got mech tech of 27. Our ship upgrades are almost complete anyway. Like, there isn't really, like, I got plus one tech point in 15 days. Plus one, I'll just do this. A couple hundred thousand. That'll help a little bit. God damn. Okay, well, we're going to leave the episode there. It was really long. I apologize for that, but uh, some pretty good action. So um, if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. What do you think about the loadouts of the uh, Nike Air um, and the Timberwolves, the four ER larges? I don't know. I think they're working okay. Um, they're, we're definitely getting good chances to hit with them. We're just not pinpointing where we need to. The Nike Air... Is hitting the LRMs pretty well, but once again, the LRM just isn't punchy enough. I don't know what else to do with with a four missile slot mech. I mean, we could go with you know a couple of LRM twenties and then put a couple of ER larges in or something. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. The aero system's gone. I have no idea. We got to get another one. All right, so we're gonna leave the episode there. Um, until next time, we'll see you later.